their students. Okay, to pass. To pass. Did you pass your exam? Would you pass this to my friend, to pass from one to another? But what about some phrasal verbs with pass? I suggest strongly you take this opportunity and you don't pass it up. So to pass up an opportunity, to not take an opportunity. My friend asked if I'd like to go for a drink, but I said I'd pass up because I had a lot of work to do. Okay? So if you've got the opportunity to do something, but you don't do it, that is to pass up. What about to pass away? I'm sure you all know this one. This one is a euphemism for to die. His grandfather sadly passed away last week. You can also use the verb to pass over, but to pass away is more common. Notice as well you have Passover, the Jewish Passover, where the angel spared the Jewish children. OK, to pass by, to pass by... OK, to pass near. You even have a phrasal noun, a passerby. The passers-by stopped and looked at what was happening. OK, to pass by, to go near. And what about to pass out? To lose consciousness. He drank so much alcohol that he passed out. OK, to faint, to lose consciousness. OK, so... What about to pass down? I guess you could pass something down from generation to generation. This ring was passed down to me by my grandmother, okay? And her grandmother before her. Okay, so, pass up, not take an opportunity. Pass away, to die. Pass over as well, to die a little more formal. To pass by, a passerby passes near. If you pass out, you faint. Boom. And to pass something down from generation to generation. This knowledge has been passed down through hundreds of generations. Okay? Enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Pass up. Pass away. Pass over. A passer by. And pass out.